During a knight's lifetime, his armor signified his rank, wealth, and status. Yet even after death, armor continued to play an important role in proclaiming the knight's identity. This mortuary helmet is a special type of helmet designed to hang over a tomb. Mortuary helmets were common features of European churches from the late Middle Ages until well into the 1700s. They were part of a set of heraldic symbols displayed over the tomb of a nobleman, knight, or wealthy individual, serving to bolster his reputation for centuries to come. As a permanent marker of an aristocratic life, the helmet reminded viewers of the dead man's social status and military prowess. Mortuary helmets were typically made from real battlefield armor, but they were often heavily altered before being put on display. This helmet has been assembled from a number of separate components. The headpiece is from a cavalryman's helmet, while the shoulder plates were actually worn by a foot soldier. These real components have been supplemented with a showy barred face guard and a top spike with a small loop for hanging the helmet over the tomb. The face guard is too large and flimsy to have been useful in battle. It's actually meant to resemble the helmets found in heraldry. These heraldic helmets are themselves based on the tournament helmets of the late Middle Ages, recalling the exclusive right of noblemen to take part in these sports. By the time this particular helmet was assembled, armor was no longer in use in Europe. As holdovers from an age of knights and tournaments, mortuary helmets lived on as enduring symbols of the values and practices of the era, long after that reality had faded into the past. <laughs>